first thing that I'm going to show you how to do on this um, this video I'm going to show you how to change the photo background if that's what you want to do now first thing first uh, I'm going to put the photo background to where it, where it was when, when I first got the GPS so I'm going to go to wallpaper let me do it like this and I believe this was the one alright so I'm going to go back to that okay now this is how it looked when I pulled the GPS out the box as far as the photo photograph in the background wallpaper alright so what you have to do you have to connect your your actual cell phone to the uh, Bluetooth version of the uh, GPS um, and also make sure you connect the Garmin Drive app make sure you have this connected to the GPS so you can port pictures photographs from your phone to the GPS okay I'm a, I'm a port a photo Bluetooth a photo from my uh, cell phone to the GPS so I'm gonna do that so what you do is you uh, click share on your photo right once you have your phone actually Bluetooth to the GPS uh, you go to the Bluetooth section on your phone once once you click share so you share the photo to your GPS like that and then you pick the one that says BT underscore Dezel that's the one you want to uh, actually use for Bluetooth and photos so uh, you see that it's asking can me do I want to share it so I'm gonna share it I'm gonna click accept and it's gonna accept the photo that I just sent okay once you do that it, it has received it okay the GPS has that photo so I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll over to like a, a bigger section on my GPS and um, I'm gonna hold the screen down you tap and hold the screen down and you go to wallpaper you tap wallpaper and then you go to at the bottom where it says my photos you find my photos and the one that I just sent to the GPS was the one this that the time is 6 24 p.m. it's 6 25 here right now where I'm at so you'll hold that and click it you tap it okay that's me on the screen so in order for me to set this as a wallpaper I'm gonna have to click in the upper left hand corner of the screen set wallpaper you got to tap that so you tap the check mark once you do that voila there you go now the backdrop is up there so now if you you know if you want to put like photos whatever type of photo you want to put up there and change the background screen now you know how to do it okay now second thing second on the list on this tool thing I'm gonna, hit the, I'm gonna go back to the main screen that's the main main screen right there uh, we're gonna show I'm gonna show you trip history this is very important right here uh, this is a tool that you can use right here on the GPS far as uh and the reason why you would want to use this because it it give you an idea of how long it took from you to get from one point to the up to the other point so from the point to where I was let's say uh Petro when I started the trip it was an hour and 21 minutes right that's how long it took took me right there to me a reason why it took me that long i'm gonna tell you because my truck my truck was uh down so i'm actually i'm in a hotel right now and um my truck is getting repaired transmission went out uh nothing uh you know nothing we can do about it well anyway here we go uh it took me an hour and 21 minutes distance of 22 miles um so the departure right there is 3 20 p.m arrival 4:41 p.m. uh and that's where i went to petrol stopping center 
right there. So I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go back, and you see the three lines right on the left hand part of the screen. The three lines up top. You'll see once I touch it right there. I can clear the travel history if I want to. So actually, you know, just for right now for a uh, demonstration, I'm gonna clear all my travel history. See? No, wait a minute. No, I'm not gonna do that because I might need it. So these are the dates and everything that you possibly you know you can use for uh whatever type of information you need to get off of uh from traveling you know anything all right now here's another one i'm gonna show you this is ifta i'm gonna hit let me see i'm gonna scroll over i think my if the fuel report is up no it's not all right i'm gonna go on the apps the three the six dots at the bottom right hand of the screen where it says apps i'm gonna tap that right and i'm gonna go to ifta you see ifta the fuel report right here you can actually put your fuel price fuel use in the gallons i haven't done that but you can actually utilize this like for taxes and stuff if you do that for one let's say for the first quarter it'll add it all up for you and you'll have everything on the gps and you can kind of know you know what i mean that's that's something good to know now jurisdiction summary this is good right here let me show you this this is all jurisdiction since i had this gps i haven't cleared it i can actually yeah export that i can export that to uh to the uh chip in here to the uh, SD card from the SD card to my computer all right now this is the total trip total distance you see that Arkansas AR that's Arkansas top the total distance I traveled through Arkansas for this this year was 880 miles that's just running through Arkansas going through Arkansas right there then you got Illinois, 440, 422 miles. All right, you see that? Off-road, 1.2 miles. That might have been me going to the truck stop or something like that. That They consider that off-road. All right, Indiana, 46 miles. Kentucky, 549 miles. That's for this year. And each one has how many miles you travel through for that particular the uh year you can also set it for the state too now here's the trip report <laughs> right here this is like when i started in McAllister and ended up in Kearney uh that's 405 miles and that's how long it took for me to get there that's february 10th february 9th Beasley 479 miles now the three lines up the top you can either combine this or delete the whole thing or export it to your sd card so you can print it out on a uh, sheet of paper you know you might need that information for something that's good info and it gives you like you know how long it took not how long but you know how many miles and it goes all the way back all the way back see to the 21st for me that's when I activated this GPS. I mean, uh, because I had rebooted it, not activated. So now I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna hit the back arrow, and then the next thing we're going to go, we're going to go to service history. So I had put mines right on front. See, you can actually hold these down. Let me see. We can go on the apps. I'm gonna show you. You can hold the button down like this, and you can put it on front right you put it anywhere you want i'm not gonna have two service histories on front so i'm gonna hold it down and i'm gonna take push it slide it all the way to the x to the left hand part of the screen and i'm gonna release it and that's how you take them down you can also rearrange them it's just like a cell phone so if you got like a, a android phone and you know how to move the little uh icons around you could do that so let's go into service history this right here <laughs> excuse me i apologize for doing that um 
this right here is like your condition report like say if i get the air condition repaired i put down the miles right here on how many miles i'm not gonna do it but let me see you add record so you will type in your miles like two i'm gonna say 200 000, 222 i'm just gonna put a bunch of tools right there just for uh for demonstration purposes and then you click next and you enter option comment option all right all right so you just put uh i'm just gonna put x you know for example anyway done and then it'll say x so you could put repair or whatever type of job right there 214 january 4th i mean uh february 14 2021 so now if you just want to delete that you hit the three lines up top delete records okay so i'm gonna delete this and i'm gonna delete this right there and it's gone now here's another one now if you got something on here because it got different type of uh things on here now say uh let me see let me think let me think okay say if you had uh on your truck i'm trying to be versatile like something that everybody needs done on their truck every blue moon let's say uh let's say i'm just gonna throw up uh let me think let me think, let me think. hose repair okay you can add a category so you'll hit the three lines up top let me get canceled you hit the three lines up top you'll hit add category and then you could put holes eight okay i just put holes or that's just sh short so you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna click done you see right there and you can put the miles down right and then like for no entry add record i'm gonna go two 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 just like that just for and then i can say a uh, comment optional so holes i could say air holes radiator holes let me see a i air hold up air hose trailer i'm just gonna put that down see and then you put the miles right there and you can add that right there and, that, and it'll be right there let me show you holes repair right there was done it on february 14 2021 and i just put the miles up there and then you know that's just an example so i'm gonna delete that category let me delete now i'm gonna delete just this one because i didn't get a hose repair okay so i delete it so now you know how to do that now let me see uh, i'm gonna show you how i change one more thing like right up here you see up here where the truck is at, which is 18 wheels. I'm going to show you how I change. Put your name up there. Let me see. So you hit the uh, clamp. You see the little wrench down at the bottom. You'll type that. And then you'll hit the three lines up top. And you'll rename your you'll rename profile. So your main name might be, let's see. I'm going to re-put mine back the way it was. But I'm going to say your name might be uh, Mary M. A R Y, Mary, Mary Bob. Okay, let's say Mary Bob wanted to change her name for her GPS. So, agree. So it's Mary Bob. You see right up there. So I'm gonna hit it back, and I'm gonna change my name to the, back to me. 18 wheels. You use the wrench. The three lines up top. Rename profile. Click that. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna put mine back up there. And that's that. So, I agree. Oh, let's close it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, so, there we go. It changed. Okay, I had to go through a. a, a I had to go back, sort of refresh it. Okay, so this 18 wheels. Uh, this is it uh, okay now everybody out there that's driving that's on the road y'all be safe and whatever you do whenever you get sleepy remember 
always pull your truck over. Find somewhere safe to pull over and get you some rest. It's 18 Wheels. Peace out to everybody. Later. <laughs>